change it. I don't think that, you know, punishing a few guys for mistaking, you know, what it is that a woman wants in, in a first kiss is what it's about. I think, I think it's about something much more profound and much more endemic and we need to be really walking towards the students and saying, what is this really about? This. We've got to uh, deliver a world to the extent that we can in which people can have sexual relations or their sexuality with no sexual relations if they want, with, without danger, like, that's impossible, but with the least amount of danger. But we don't have to do that by pretending that all the women are health, helpless victims. Um, needing the state to rush in and take over uh, everything for them, which is basically what I think this is about. It's about an image of women that really forgets the power that women have and the decision-making uh, vitality of women. There's, a, uh, there's a, a need really to have some cool heads to dissect the problem and to figure out what to do. And I think that um, I think that Janet has been absolutely essential in telling us to look at the problem in a way that is rational, not fueled by panic and fear. And I think that she's been very successful through her work, both in writing and also in speaking to others about it, um, in helping us out of this place of panic. You have to have a stomach for controversy to be involved in this mm -hmm. piece of the feminist terrain. So, so I, I, that, that has been a thing for my, in my scholarship all along. I've always tried to write it honest, you know, thoroughly cited, carefully you know, saran wrapped to the facts. You mm -hmm. know, I, I really want to write legitimate scholarship on to controversial topics. Um, but this is a shift for me um, into a institutional reform project that I have not really been doing in quite a long time.